What's up guys, this is Pat Conten. I'm gonna briefly talk to you about one of the biggest mistakes slash biggest hurdles that you have to overcome when trying to dunk, but most importantly, increasing your vertical jump. I would say a lot of people focus on everything piece by piece. We've talked a little bit about getting on your toes too fast, thinking that your calves are what really are making you jump. Um, I would say taking everything that we've done and putting it into a fluid motion. That kinetic movement, that fluid motion that you're going to have to develop in order to harness the momentum that you're using when you're going into the jump, but then applying the position as well as the um, formula that we have in order for you to try to increase your vertical jump. They all have to co-align and they all have to be going at the same rhythm. So a little bit of rhythm to it, a little bit of dance, a little bit of song and dance to it that you have to follow and have to continue to work on to harness in order to increase and maximize your vertical jump and your ability to um, harness that explosiveness. A lot of people, what you see is they want to jump off two legs, they get to a point, they stop from their gather, they get down and they jump. There's a little bit of herky jerkiness to it. What we want to do is make sure you harness that fluidity of getting that gather right into a low position, right into your back straight, right into your glutes down on your heels, transferring it to then the front of your feet as you're exploding through the hips, through your arms are extending, and all the way up as high as you possibly can. Um, a lot of people, when they go off one foot, they're trying to time it, and then they get to it, and then they try to explode. They go off the wrong foot, they misstep, they slow down, and they try to explode. All of it has to be one fluid movement. All of it has to be the use of your athleticism or your ability to harness the athleticism needed to then explode it into a vertical jump. If I were to use this basket and try to dunk, it'd be a lot harder for me if I ran up to the basket, stopped to get low, stopped to make sure that my heels were on the ground, and then tried to explode up and dunk. It'd be a lot more difficult. Now, fortunately, based off how long I've been doing this, I'm able to stand still, jump, and dunk. But as far as effectiveness, as far as use, of usability within a game, you're not going to be able to do it and it's going to be a lot harder to do. In order to jump and maximize the height on your vertical jump, you want to have that fluidity. You want to make sure that you're using that kinetic energy along with the formula and the programs that we've talked about as far as getting low, back straight, using your core, getting your glutes and your uh, IT band and all of your hip flexors involved. You want to be able to use all of it into one fluid motion. So. If I'm able to do it correctly, which if you're able to do it correctly will really help you, um, you'll see the difference. If I ran up, stopped, and then tried to dunk, yeah, I could do it. But I wouldn't be able to do it as well as if I ran up into the fluid motion, jumped, and dunked. It makes it look easy, it makes you look more athletic, but more importantly, it helps you increase your vertical jump, and it takes you to a place where you have the potential to then hopefully dunk.